are done with the Vienna uh, tomorrow, and then we go to Linz, and then we will go to Tokyo after that. We're very excited. My friends and family, they kept asking me when we are coming back. So I'm glad I can finally say that we still exist. <laughs> I started violin in Tokyo at, when I was seven after I started piano first. I was a really bad student. I didn't know how to practice. So I had to go to a practice teacher. So I actually had to go to two different teachers a week. I didn't decide to come to U.S. I kind of, my parents took me here because my dad got transferred by his company and I just, I moved with them. I think I left 1979, so next year would be 40 years. I miss my family and friends, but I, I like the, my life in Cleveland a lot. I was going to go back to Japan for college, but at the last minute I played for this violin teacher in San Francisco and that's when I decided to stay. That's how my life got changed. I really miss Japan. You know, I thought I would get used to or I will miss less of Japan as I spend more time in the U.S., but it's almost opposite. I miss it more and more. I foresee myself living in Japan, but all my friends and my family don't. <laughs> they think I'm too Americanized. Beethoven is very close to Japanese people's heart. So like a Beethoven Ninth is almost like a Handel's Messiah for the Japanese people. They play almost every Christmas. I feel like Viennese people just like breathe in the Beethoven since they're kids. You know, it's so like, I mean, they grow up with it, but Japanese, it's more like a learned thing, but people do love Beethoven. Beethoven was, because he's German, and then German music was something that it was um, encouraged during World War II. So it was close to their heart for that, that he was allowed to be played. <laughs> so, um, so even for my father's generation, my grandfather's generation, it was uh, close to their heart. The this somehow the Japanese likes to think music being entertainment, but also it's um, philosophy. And I think Japanese likes to think there's some meaning to every aspect of any kind of art. And I think Beethoven definitely, I think, speak to them that his suffering when he was completely there. I think they really take that as a part of um, his music.